Hi, Thailand is ready to welcome you back. They're good and ready, trust me. I was in the United States from uh, July 8th until October 4th. Mid-September, I started traveling around. I went to Dayton, Ohio, San Antonio, and El Paso, Texas, New Mexico, and then back to New York City. And one of the things that was really apparent is people were eager to get out and start traveling again. And they were doing so in large numbers. All of the different conveyances that I was, was on airplanes and a train, I took a train trip across Texas, were full. They were full of capacity. People were eager to get out and start traveling again. Countries are beginning to open up. I know the United States has started to allow foreign visitors back into the States because my buddy Blockchain, who's been in London, uh, uh, Blockchain is like a digital finance wizard and he's been very eager to get back to New York and Silicon Valley where he could conspire with his cabal of digital wizards to take over the world economy. But that's a story for another video. The point is is that they let his Brit ass back into the country. So you know, the United States and many European countries have uh, led the way in uh, reopening with limited restrictions on international travel. And now Thailand has jumped on that bandwagon. And to discuss all this, now if you want serious information about that, go to the Thai Embassy. That's the best place to get information on how to, you know, to uh, get the required uh, uh, permits to get back here and visas and all that stuff. There are lots and lots of vlogs and um, and blogs out there with information, but my recommendation is to go straight to the source. Check out the embassy nearest you. Uh, what I'm going to do to discuss the implications of a reopened Thailand is what any good expat would do. I'm going to meet two other expats, my friend Bill from Chiang Mai, who's flying down here as I speak, and uh, some other guy who I haven't met yet, and we're going to discuss all this at a pizzeria. Supposedly a really uh, kind of uh, top shelf New York style pizzeria here in Bangkok. I'm missing my boat. I'm going to enjoy this trip to the Royal Thai Palace neighborhood because I get to go there on one of my favorite urban conveyances, the Klong boat. There's a formula for disembarking and boarding these Klong boats. The formula is be nimble, be quick, and don't get in the way. Around the same time that people like Thomas Paine, Patrick Henry, and Thomas Jefferson were advocating a violent overthrow of the English crown in the American colonies, Burmese warriors were chasing the Siamese out of their capital city of Ayutthaya. And the Siamese came here to an island in the city that we now know, know as Bangkok. What makes it an island is this narrow waterway, nothing more than a canal, a moat, if you will. And on that island, on the side of the island which they took refuge, the side of the canal that they took refuge, they built fortresses. They built places to protect themselves. Here on the secure side of the canals and waterways, the Siamese erected battlements, forts, positions that they could defend themselves with. And we're inside one of those forts right now that's being restored. It's nice to see them uh, preserving their history. And from inside these, uh, these fortifications, the Siamese held off the marauding herds of spear-chucking, elephant-riding Burmese and were able to establish a stable place from which to run their government that is still in place today. And here in this part of Bangkok, 
Today resides all the important ministries, government offices, the uh, royal offices and residences, uh, military headquarters, anything important for the uh, functioning of the Thai government will be housed in this neighborhood. There's a lot of wealth, a lot of opulence in this area as well. The people of power and influence here in Thailand reside in this, in this area. Or at least they have offices here. They probably have a lot of residences. The folks that play power games in this part of town are amongst the wealthiest in the world. And they wield a lot of power. What a lot of people don't seem to understand in the West that Thailand is about the same size and the same population as Great Britain. It's had a lot of influence over the centuries. It's an ancient culture with a lot of influence in Southeast Asia and a growing influence in the world stage. And it's here tonight that I'm going to discuss the reopening of Thailand with a couple of my buddies in a pizza shop place called Bing's Pizza. It's supposed to be good. What I like about this part of town, just steps away from the government buildings and the Royal Thai Palace and Chef Bing's Pizzeria, you could step into the grounds of one of these many opulent temples and just find a really nice quiet space. And it is indeed beautiful. I don't know what temple this is. They call them Wats here. W-A-T. I don't know what Wat this is. But the door was open so I just stepped in. And it's like I stepped into a different dimension. It's quiet. Very peaceful. Very serene. Now it is late in the evening and there aren't many tours back yet. Tourism did open up quite a bit four days ago, but they're clearly not repelling out of helicopters to get here. But nonetheless, this is still in the center of town or, or, the, or the, you know, the most important part of Bangkok, most important part of Thailand. And there's just a peacefulness to it that's, uh, that's so very nice, just me and the birds. And this is Chef Bing. And guess what? He really is a New Yorker. We're sitting here talking about our old hometown. Uh, the states are uh, getting back to normal. I, I hope what I saw in the states happens here, and I think that it might. I think it. I, yeah. I, hopefully, it does. I, I think. I think we. You know. I think it will. I think. I think, uh, I think it's going to be good. You know. I think tourism will pick up. You know. Do you you base here? Do you live in Thailand or? Uh, yes, I live uh, on Echo, near Akamai Road. Yeah. Uh, and uh, your, uh, your assistant here tells me that uh, you, you might be moving to Phnom Penh. Oh, we're from Plunchit. Oh, Phnom Yeah, right, okay. right, right by the American Embassy. Okay. Hey, it was nice meeting you. Thank you for talking with me. Yeah, What's your um, name? Bing. Bing. No, yeah. Okay. Uh, my real name is uh, Nawapan. Nawapan. Yeah, but everybody in the states it was Navapan. You know, you can pronounce it. It's like so. I'm trying to like every time I say it, it's weird. Uh, normally I would say Navapan, yeah. and then uh, uh, most people will get it. But when you say that Nawapan, everybody starts. Like, <laughs> well, dang. I mean, everybody has nicknames here anyway. It's yeah, a, what was your name? I'm Charlie. And, Charlie. and it's great to meet you. Good to meet you, too. This is my buddy Bill from, uh, I keep saying from Tennessee. That's not really Tennessee. where you're from. Well, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, right. Tennessee, Massachusetts, <laughs> Florida. <laughs> I float between about three places. And this giant of a fellow here is uh, hey. Dana. It's good, good to meet you, Dana. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, a real serious athlete there. Oh, no, no, no. And uh, we're here to uh, uh, determine if uh, Chef Bing really does make New York pizza. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Chef Bing's New York pizza has arrived. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. And, uh, okay. Give us some time. We'll get back to you with a review. Well, we all agree it was good pizza. What's your verdict, Mr. Bill? Excellent pizza. Yeah, phenomenal. Crispy, nice flavor on the dough, great sauce. Yeah. Uh -huh. All so around. Uh, not much left, that's for sure. Yeah. Bing, come check it out.
when you hear him bang cock it. He's actually moving. He said once things get more back to normal, he's uh, moving up toward, where are you moving to? Toward uh, near the U.S. Embassy on uh, Wireless Road. He's gonna have a new place there. I'll put some uh, information down in the description so you can uh, check it out. But yeah, if you like pizza, good place. Pizza. Come Very check good. it out.